my work has always really looked at this idea of belonging, this sense of place. Creation Myths and Other Tall Tales focuses back on the self, and in this case, you know, our own celestial body, the Earth. The titles are an attempt for me to kind of take personal ownership over the work and over the, the view and the, the concern, the, the concern for belonging. The approach of it is flip sides of the same coin, basically. And I guess tension and tug of war between your kind of intellectual and emotional internal life. In the Jersey Road gallery, we've got exacting crystalline empirical views of ourself, of the earth. You could almost make the argument they're quite dispassionate in their view, as a satellite is. You know, a satellite looks at us with that cool view of distance. What's happening in a lot of the views are actually quite destructive moments. You've got hurricanes, bushfires, and impacts, volcanoes. The whole body of work, just aesthetically in terms of surface, is quite a departure. Firstly, I'm using acrylic, but also the loss of the resin surface, that high gloss kind of mirrored luster. For this body of work, I've done the absolute opposite and I've tried to achieve this totally flat, matte surface. That totally flat black cuts off light and just kind of absorbs the light and creates a void, which I guess is the best way I could think of to create space. Oil paint has been so central to my practice and I wanted to maintain that connection. So the work in the annex titled Tall Tales and Other Creation Myths, for me, part of it traces that connection to all those old master paintings that I've looked up to and admired and aspired toward my whole kind of, not only painting life, but you know, my, my childhood. Again, for me, there's this emotional content and I'm trying to trace these works as memories, as time and space. So people and places I've been to and been with in my life, for me is an, a nice way to acknowledge and give that nod to the history of art that is so central to you know what I do, why I do it and why I love it.